The AMX-56 Leclerc has become the pinnacle of French combat tank design in the modern world. It represents the current main battle tank of the French army and provides a powerful, albeit complicated, and ultimately expensive, solution for French armored corps needs. Despite its modern qualities and promising specifications, the AMX-56 Leclerc, as a combat tank at least, remains largely unproven on the modern battlefield, while its comparable Western sisters, the German Leopard II, American M1 Abrams and British Challenger II, have all given a good account of themselves throughout various actions. The Leclerc has been operationally deployed in peacekeeping endeavors in both Kosovo, both French and UAE Leclerc's featured, and Lebanon. At the time of its inception, the Leclerc was the first combat tank in production on French soil over some 30 years marking it as a national symbol of pride to a certain extent. To date, the Leclerc is utilized by only the French and the United Arab Emirates while the UAE also shared in some of the project's developmental and manufacture costs. As early as the mid-1960s, French authorities reviewed their armored corps, at this time being spearheaded by the AMX 30B2 main battle tank, a contemporary to the American M60A3 Patton, the German Leopard 1 and the British Chieftain, and found their forces lacking against the might of the upcoming Soviet types. As such, work began on a more modern solution even while the AMX-30 was beginning to manage a foothold in the French Army inventory. Requirements were refined throughout the 1970s to which, in 1980, the Germans and French entered into a collaborative main battle tank initiative in an effort to replace their respective aged Leopard 1 and AMX-30 stocks. The partnership intended to keep development and production costs to a minimum while producing a capable capable, modern solution that was both sound and logistically friendly. However, as with most multinational MBT development initiatives, the partnership fell to naught with each party going their separate ways. The Germans went on to produce their excellent Leopard 2 family of vehicles while the French persisted with a design all their own under the designation of AMX 48 Engen de Combat Principle or ECP, beginning in 1983. Over a lengthy period, various developmental components were tested and further developed before the first true prototype along with five others, was realized in 1989. After formal testing by the French Army, the new tank, now designated as the AMX-54, was adopted into service. Production began in 1990, at GI-80 Tarb for the turret component and GI-80 Rowan for the hull and final assembly, to which deliveries began in 1991 and formal service entry beginning in 1992. The tank was given the name of Leclerc after French General Philippe Leclerc de Hotclock who commanded Free French Army Forces, 2nd Armored Division, towards German-occupied Paris in World War II, which led to its ultimate liberation. Procurement of the tank was granted to the UAE in 1993, to which formal operational use by the UAE Army began in 1996. Compared to other main battle tanks of Western origination, the Leclerc took to some rather alternative design directions. Dimensionally, she followed in line with Western tank offerings as a whole though she became one of the lightest modern main battle tanks in service at 54,500 kilograms, 54.5 tons. Internally, and unlike the Leopard 2, M1 Abrams or Challenger 2, the Leclerc was completed with an autoloader, manufactured by Cruzotloyer, to manage the loading-slash-reloading function of the main gun. This feature is more commonplace in Soviet tank designs which allows a smaller overall profile while reducing the required crew to just three personnel, the tank commander, gunner, and driver. In the Leclerc, the driver is seated at the front left of the hull with the gunner seated right of the main gun in the turret and the commander seated left of the main gun, also in the turret. Design of the Leclerc showcases a sleek and modern appearance with its slim turret and side profile. The turret sports a definitive overhang of the turret bustle which incorporated the autoloader and ammunition stocks. The main gun is seated at the front center and enters the turret through a heavy gun mantle installation. Various periscopes atop the turret roof allow the gunner and commander good views of the surrounding action. Communications antenna for the 2X radio sets are mounted at the rear turret roof. The hull itself is equally slim and clean with a well-sloped glassy plate and driver's position identified by the vision blocks and access hatch offset to the left hull side. Headlamps at the front hull sides allow for dusk-slash-nighttime driving while fenders protect from mud and dirt being flung upwards onto the various surfaces of the tank. The track system consists of six road wheels to a hull side managed by a front-mounted track idler and a rear-mounted drive sprocket. Track return rollers manage the upper portions of the track though this is largely unseen as the Leclerc makes use of side skirt armor, common practice for modern MBTs. The engine is housed at the rear of the hull and separated from the crew. Suspension is via a hydropneumatic system which provides the excellent cross-country performance required of armored combat vehicles today. Primary armament of the Leclerc main battle tank is the 120mm Giant CN 120-26 52 series smoothbore main gun, 
a powerful instrument in a widely accepted tank gun caliber. The crew has access to no fewer than five types of 120mm projectiles in AP, armor-piercing, and he, high-explosive, forms. The primary types are an APFSDS, armor-piercing, fin-stabilized, discarding sabo, round and in heat, high-explosive, anti-tank, round. As such, the Leclerc crew can engage anything from enemy armor to troop concentrations, including fortified positions. The ammunition types are also of NATO standard dimensions for logistical reasons in the West. The main gun is seated at the front of the turret which is fully powered, electrical with manual backup, and allows for a full 360-degree rotation and engagement of enemies at any attack angle. Additionally, the main gun is stabilized across both axes, which allows for firing on the move with accurate results. The fire control system, FCS, is fully digital and centered around a Kotag FCS, which is assisted by the onboard laser rangefinder, passive night vision and various sighting optics. Assistance is granted through the finder's fast information, navigation, decision and reporting system, and its full-color map display showcasing currently active targets, mission route planning and friend or foe FOF, management. A fume extractor is settled on the main gun barrel in the conventional way and makes use of a compressed air system to expel the potentially dangerous gases away from the firing compartment. The firing action, with its autoloader, returns a rate of fire of 12 rounds per minute. Another detail element uncommon in Western tanks is the installation of a 12.7mm Giant M693 F2 coaxial heavy machine gun. Coaxial machine guns are usually in 7.62mm in caliber. This weapon supplies an anti-armor punch at range against light armored vehicles. Aerial threats are countered by a 7.62mm NFI anti-aircraft machine gun fitted to the turret roof. No fewer than 27x smoke-slash anti-personnel grenade dischargers in 3x banks of 9 launchers allows the Leclerc crew to either screen its movements from enemy eyes or engage nearby enemy infantry attempting to storm the vehicle. The grenade dischargers are part of the active Galix Combat Vehicle Protection System CVPS. The Leclerc's inherently low-profile design also makes for a tougher target to identify and, to an extent, engage at range. 